guys and welcome back to Katie Cooked What. So today's video is going to be another Winging It Wednesday video. If you haven't seen any of the previous ones, Winging It Wednesday videos are basically just where I have kind of a recipe idea and I just go for it. A lot of the time I'm trying to use up ingredients that we already have in the fridge just to lower our food waste and everything like that. Okay, so the ingredients that I'm going to be using, I'm going to do black beans, I've got some corn and jalapeno peppers, those are frozen, got a little bit of cheddar cheese left, I have an avocado, half a red onion, um, I'm going to use a little bit of tomato, I've got some lettuce, some salsa, this Southwest Ranch dressing, which is really good and honestly like is what is holding this recipe together. I needed a Southwest sauce. I didn't, it didn't need to be ranch, I just wanted something Southwest. So I think these will be a really good quick weeknight meal that still have lots of veggies in them and they're meat free. You could probably add like chicken or maybe even ground beef to them if you wanted, but I'm going to do them vegetarian because that's who I am. <laughs> um, first thing is really important, rinse your black beans. Always rinse your black beans. I feel like not everybody does it and you just really should. And I'm actually just going to leave those in the sink for a little bit just so that they drain off some more. Okay, and then while I let my black beans drain a little bit, I'm going to heat up my pan. I'm going to do... Uh, I think three, well, we'll do 3.5. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And then I'm gonna put some of this in the pan. So this is just frozen corn and jalapeno pepper. I'm not honestly a huge corn person, if I'm being honest. So I like having it in a frozen bag like this so that I can just add small amounts and I don't have to commit to an entire can or anything like that. And in terms of spices on these, I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy. I just added a little bit of salt. I will add a little bit of garlic powder and the black beans are going to go in here as well. I'm also going to add a little bit of taco powder, I think. Um, this is just one of the packages that comes in like the boxes when you make pre-made tacos that we obviously didn't use and got thrown into our little spice cabinet. So I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Taco powder, honestly, you can use quite a bit. So like I know I said I'm using a little bit and there looks like there's a lot on there. But um, the reason for that is, yeah, it's just not super strong tasting and I'm also going to add the black beans in there. so. It's not going to be so crazy. And I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit because I want this to be moving along faster. So I went to 4.5, so if you are wanting to make these at home, go for about a medium heat. But I mean, I'll let you know if you want to make them at home when I taste them. <laughs> and honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and add the black beans right now too. The corn hasn't really been in here for that long, but that wasn't really the goal. I kind of just wanted to give the black beans a few minutes to finish draining. Okay, so I am just gonna let the corn and the black beans cook for, I don't know, probably like 10 minutes or so. They don't really need to cook. I'm honestly just heating them up and the corn and the jalapenos need to thaw out. So I probably will just leave them in there. Yeah, I'm gonna say like 10 minutes, but I'll just play it by ear. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start cutting up all my other ingredients and getting all that stuff ready. I'm gonna start with my red onion. Um, probably don't need to cut up too much. I'm definitely gonna have a lot of extra black beans and corn, unfortunately, just cause of the size of the can of black beans. So we'll probably have to eat these a few times. So hopefully they're good or you know, I wonder about black beans and corn, like that mixture with the taco powder. I bet you that could be like a good um, nachos topping. Put them on some nacho chips, cheese, melt them in the oven. That could actually be really good. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut my onions in pretty long pieces because that is just how I love them. And yeah, I'm just gonna split them up into individuals and then I've just got a plate over to the side here that I'm putting all my ingredients on. I wanna know in the comments if anyone has ever tried regrowing lettuce on their own. I have never tried lettuce, I don't, well I think I actually did try lettuce one time but it didn't pan out. 
but I've done green onions before and I've had no problem. So I, I want to know if anyone's done lettuce or celery too. So I think this is all the lettuce that I'm going to use. Like I said, I'm really only making two wraps at the moment, so I don't need to cut up so much. So I'm going to go give my lettuce a rinse now, but I also just wanted to let you know the progress of the black beans and the corn. Everything's looking good. It's simmering. So yeah, I think these will be ready to go as soon as I'm done cutting up all my other stuff. So that's perfect timing. Now, I had originally planned on slicing the avocado up and then just placing it on the wraps. And I think that that would still be good, but I'm wondering if I should just mash the avocado right onto the wrap and just like have it more like a guac so it's more sauce-like. I think I might do that. I also am not sold on the salsa. I don't know if it's necessary, but I mean, we have like zero salsa left, so probably just use it. Yeah, I'm gonna do the avocado mash. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna grate cheese. I'm gonna grate some cheddar because we have a little bit left and I don't want it to go moldy. Um, I'm not gonna do very much, I don't think, and to be completely honest, like I think these would be good without the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna do the avocado now. Please. Don't roast me for how I cut an avocado. Like, I don't know if I do it good or bad. I, avocados are tricky. Nice. Love when there's not a brown inside of an avocado. That's another thing I'd want to know. Does anybody have, is there a secret to picking out avocados at the grocery store that aren't like just horrible surprises on the inside? Because I, have literally like stopped buying avocados for months on end before because I've just had so much bad luck with them and I'm sick of paying like a dollar per avocado just to be let down or is that just part of the game <laughs> let me know okay this is actually a perfect amount because this isn't a super big avocado so uh, I think I'll just do like half on each of our wraps I'm just gonna dice the tomatoes up I think Probably half a tomato will be sufficient. Okay, I'm just gonna bring my beans and my corn over here. I probably could have done, done a little bit more olive oil. They look a little bit dry, but I mean, I think it'll be okay, especially with the avocado and the Southwest Ranch, the salsa. I think we will be in the clear. So now for wrap assembly. Also, I'm sorry if this angle looks weird, I literally just messed around with my tripod for like too long trying to get it to not look weird, but here we are. Okay, so I got my wraps here. I'm just using regular white tortilla wraps. I'm sure like flavored ones and stuff could be good too, but I mean, I'm not even sure what this is gonna be like yet. So maybe let's just reel her in for a minute. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna use some of this Southwest Ranch. This is um, Renee's Gourmet. I know it's sold in the produce section at the grocery store. It's like a refrigerated one. So yeah, there's that. This is way too much. And then I'm gonna mash the avocado just right into the wrap. So I'm, yeah, like literally just gonna take a fork and mash it up. I think this will also be the better move because it takes up less space and I have a real overstuffing problem with wraps. So I think, I think this is the move. And you still get all the avocado flavor and it's more even because it's mashed and spread all over. So there we go. Okay, gonna do the onions on there. Add a little bit of the black beans and the corn. My tomatoes, lettuce, and we'll do a little bit of cheese. Okay, and then I literally can't do very much salsa because we barely have any. <laughs> so I would probably would do more if I were, you know, my resources weren't limited. Probably would use more salsa. 
I want there to be a little bit more spice coming through and I, the jalapenos in the bag I know don't give off very much and the salsa won't give off too, too much. So I'm actually gonna go to the good old Cowboys, Cowboys, no, Cattle Boys, Smoky Southwest seasoning. Just put a little bit on there. Now we can wrap it up. Honestly, this isn't good, but this was one of the best wraps I've ever done. Okay, so this is really the part that I took from the zucchini and hummus wraps video that I did. I have folded them all up and I'm just gonna put them in a frying pan. I'm gonna place them seam side down so that it kind of cooks closed a little bit initially and they don't open up while we're cooking. And I really need that because I'm not good at wrapping these things as you can see by their varied shapes and sizes, but this is the same pan that I cooked the black beans and the corn in. I haven't washed it or anything. I just went ahead and put that in a container, put it in the fridge, and now I've put the pan back on 3.5. So yeah, I'm just gonna let these cook. Shouldn't take too long, probably like a couple minutes per side, and then we'll be good to go. So they've cooked for like probably about five minutes. They're getting kind of golden. So I'm just gonna flip them over and then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so they're out of the frying pan now. Like I said, just a few minutes on each side to get them a little bit crispy, just so they have like a nice crunch on the outside, but it's not super cooked or anything like that. So I'm just gonna let them cool down for a few minutes and then we'll taste them. Okay, so I brought Mitch in to taste them because I feel like it's more validating if there's another person also <laughs> tasting them. But this is what they look like. I think they look pretty good. I think they're gonna be good. Honestly, this wasn't like that crazy of a Winging It Wednesday video, so I don't know, but let's just taste them. Let's do it. Mmm. They're really good, actually. Oh, uh, they're actually really good. It's really well balanced, too. Like, every bite kind of contains everything mm -hmm. in each part. It's not like packets everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. It's really flavorful. That is really good. So I did, um avocado, some of that Southwest Ranch dressing, and mash that on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cheddar cheese, black beans, corn, uh, with the jalapenos in the corn, um, red onion, tomatoes, salsa. Honestly, there was quite a bit of different things, but I feel like it was very like accessible things. Like we mm -hmm. usually, we always have tomatoes. We usually have lettuce. Yeah, we, we always have onion. onion like, we always get some sort of canned beans. Yeah, so like I feel like they're things that like you pretty much would always have, but still like quite different. Mm. I was worried it was gonna be too similar to a burrito, but... Not really. It's still pretty different. So like I feel like if you weren't, like if you wanted something like this, we were like, ugh, not really feeling burritos. I think this would like mm. be different enough that you're like, yeah, I could have that. Cool, I think it's good. Really, yeah, really good. Okay, well, I think this is really good. You should make them at home. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah, these are really good. Mm -hmm.